Hi there, it's Sandy Alnock, and today I've got a new set of Zig clean color pens. These are new colors that they came out with, and they're much more my kind of colors. They're not like bright and screamy. They're more realistic, and there's some great purples in here. So I'm going to show you how I colored these grapes with clean color markers. Big thanks to the folks at Kurataki for sending me this set of markers and the one that I used in Monday's video. This one is just really cool. It's got some very desaturated colors to it, which I was super excited to swatch out right when I got them. I did swatch them and then leave the sheet of paper for a few days. I wanted to see if the colors would still move after a few days of sitting there, and yes, they do. So if you use these pens for any of your artwork. Make sure you don't get them wet later because they will reactivate. I always test them with water because I want to see what the colors do when they touch something wet. In this drawing, I only used a minimal amount of water, but I like to know what will happen if I decide to. If I, in a few areas, I did try to put some water in just to see what would happen. And it's helpful to just know if they're going to change color drastically or not. So I decided I would do grapes because there's a lot of great purples, some warm purples, some cool purples in this particular set, which is really nice. There's not a lot of great purples in a lot of the different mediums that I use. And for something like this, I normally would have to mix a whole bunch of different purples in order to get the variation that you see in grapes. I had a batch of grapes that were on my table. I was snacking on my subject while I was working on this. And the batch that I had was not as pretty as the batch that I'm drawing. Just so you know, I rearranged them and made them tumble down the way that I wanted to. But I was looking at the grapes to see what kind of texture each one had. There are so many subtle variations. If you really look at grapes, Sometimes they're more on the orangey or brown kind of side. Sometimes there's more blue. Sometimes it's more red. So even though we think of purple grapes as purple, there's so many colors in there. And it's great to have this type of marker set that has those variations available to you to be able to work with a whole lot of different colors. I did a lot of layering, lots and lots. And in some cases, I started out by putting water down and then putting some marker in it. I just wanted to see how that would work. Sometimes I put down the different colors first and then put purple on top. And other times I put the purple down first and added other colors on top so that I could have some grapes that had a little bit of a green color to them. Some would have that purplish brownish tint. Some of them would be more bluish and lots of different color temperatures for each one of the grapes. And of course, there's white spots on them, both spots on the grapes themselves where they had highlights and bounce light, all that kind of thing. And when you're working with these pens, you're going to want to make sure you leave your whites. The reason is because anytime you put a white pen, like I like to use my Signo Uniball white pen to add highlights to things. On Zig Clean Color Markers, they're so strong in pigment. Like it's really, really, really strong. It will just eat away at that white highlight. <laughs> It'll just make it disappear. I tried all the different white highlight products I have here in the studio to see if anything else would work over top of these. And no, you need to leave your white highlights when you're doing the actual drawing itself. But the good thing with using markers for a drawing like this rather than painting it is that markers are much slower. You can take your time and work around highlights and kind of re retain them that way. Whereas if you're just watercoloring, and believe me, I've done this before, you just start painting and the color goes everywhere and suddenly you realize you didn't leave any white. It's easier to do with markers. It's just a lot easier. So whether you're using water-based markers like these or alcohol-based markers, that's just a whole lot easier. I'm adding the little dots at the bottom. And what do you call those things? Those dots at the bottom of the grapes. There's, there's got to be a name for that little thing. 
but I've added those in a dark blue pen and then started making more of my my grapes down here at the bottom. So you can see I was sort of messing with putting color underneath of the purples and then adding the purples on top. And I'm using a lot of negative painting and or negative drawing, I guess you'd call it, since this is marker rather than paint. And using the highlights around one grape and the shadows on the grape next to it to define the difference between each shape. And that's what negative painting is all about, or negative drawing is using each of the, the different shapes that are in a drawing or in a subject to try to define something else around it, the space around it. For the leaf, the picture that I was working from, because my, le my leaves in the grocery store were non-existent, they cut those off, which is, I wish they would sell them with the grape leaves so that I could draw them from real, real leaves but had a bit of a blue tinge to them. So I used some blue underneath and then added greens on top and did some blue shadows for some of the veins, that kind of thing, in order to build up the color that I liked. So there is my, my leaf in its development. I did put a branch out here too. Looked up a few photos to try to get the shapes right. Just so excited that Zig has these kinds of colors in their line now because it's going to make somebody like me who likes to do realistic stuff a lot happier. If you're interested in more beginner techniques, you can check out my last video, which shows you how to color this fox, which you can also purchase from my website. Cute little manga guy, and I will see you again really soon with another video. Take care and go make something beautiful, okay?